Hi everyone, so in this video I wanted to do a little tutorial on how to fix your scans in a program similar to Photoshop. So say you have artwork or a photograph or a document or probably not a document but like an image that you scanned with your scanner onto your computer and the colors aren't looking quite right and you just want to know how to fix it up, how to remove any specks of dust that might have been in the scanner when you scanned it, and just how to make it look exactly like the original. A good thing to remember when you're scanning is your resolution, so I scanned this one at 600 dpi, you can scan it even higher, just basically the bigger you make your, your dpi, the larger you're going to be able to print your image, and um, just like the higher quality it will have, so it's good to have as best quality as you can starting off editing your photo because you can just do more with a larger file. I just opened this raw scan into my into a Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop Elements 11, I think. So the first thing I did was I brought my file into Photoshop and uh, this is just straight from the scanner. I I didn't do anything when I scanned it. I just the only thing I did was cropped it and I didn't use any of the editing tools within the scanner program. I just did the raw file. This is it. But the original colors are more saturated and there's more contrast because my scanner tends to wash out the colors. So the first thing I do is I double click the background to unlock it just so that I can play around with it. There's a few things that I would want to change here. To zoom in, just hold down Alt and zoom in. But I'm assuming you know how to use the basics of Photoshop, you just want to know how to fix up scan. So I want to remove this signature. I want to remove any um, little bits of dust like that. I don't really use keyboard shortcuts because I don't really use Photoshop that much except for to edit photos. I don't paint in Photoshop, I paint in uh, Paint Will Sigh. There's not too many specks of dust on this, but I'm just going to show you how I would go about removing this. So there's also like a little bit of a gray spot here. So the first thing, actually no, the first thing I would do is just, to, I like to fix the colors right away. So open up your, uh, I don't even know what you would call these, um, like click there, open up a new levels layer, and these just kind of show where the lights and darks are. So as you can see, there's a lot of lights, but not very many darks in this photo. So I like to take this black part here, and the more you drag it, it darkens everything and that looks really scary, but you can use it to your advantage to kind of increase the contrast. That's kind of closer to the original, and you just kind of play with these until it looks closer to the way it looked in real life. I'm not going to touch the white because I think the lights are light enough, and the, the gray slider in the middle here are just your mid-tones. So I think that's a bit better. The original file, the original drawing itself doesn't have that many that much contrast because it's kind of all sort of the same tone but it definitely isn't as washed out as this it looks more like this so now that i've kind of quickly fixed the colors um mostly the contrast the contrast is the biggest thing that i like to fix there's some ways you can clean up the background because if you're going to be printing this you want the background to not have little dots all over it so what i like to do is duplicate your layer so layer duplicate duplicate layer and um, that way you just have your original saved. And now on this layer, you can either use the clone, the clone tool, which I'll show you first instead of erasing, because this works with any pattern, not just white. This works with any, uh, it's basically a way of taking one part of the drawing. So you hold on Alt, you click on it, and then where you click next, that part of the drawing appears. Oh wait, I'm doing this on the wrong layer. <laughs> Here. <laughs> you can either say to sample all layers or just the current layer. I'll probably just do the current layer. I'm going to merge the level layer with my copied layer. So now this, this one has the adjustments. So I'm going to be doing all the editing on this one and I'm going to preserve my original below it. So I'm going to start off using the clone tool. And basically what you do if you find an area that you don't like the way it looks like this whole area right here is really messy because this is kind of a sketch but if I wanted to clean up the edge of this leaf here I would hold down alt on a purple part and click to kind of sample it and then I would click along here to fix it up and as you can see it's taking parts of the purple and it's moving it down here to clean up that edge 
And you can do that anywhere for anything. It's a way to fix things while it, instead of like going over it with like trying to find the proper purple here and like it would just never work that way. It's a way of copying the texture over and uh, smoothing things out that you wouldn't have noticed before. And one thing I did when I edited this before is I got rid of this white part here because I really didn't like the way I did that. So you can sample multiple times. I'm going to sample from up here and then stamp that in place. It can take a while to get it right, but that did take me a while, but you can just basically cover up anything, smooth anything out just by taking a sample that's kind of close to what you want it to be. You can choose between soft brushes, hard brushes. Usually a soft brush helps it look more natural, but if you want a hard edge, then you choose a hard edged brush. So I can do the same thing down here. I can just like click on the white and fill in. You're almost like painting in the drawing itself, like you're copying and pasting little sections of the drawing. And this is good for fixing little specks of dust or little sketch lines like right here. Since the background's white, I'm not being too careful with this, but as you can see, there's still some little marks here. And over here there is. So, and see this little, this speck here, I'm gonna fix that. There's like little speckles all over the background. They're kind of small, I don't know if you can see them, but there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and you can kind of zoom in and fix them as you go. So like fix all the really noticeable specks that you know like anything that you can see, try to fix it because there's going to be some specs that you don't notice and you might have to do test prints to see if they'll show up in the final print. And you see all, see all these little specs? I don't know if you can see them on the recording, but there's like little dots, little specks of dust in the background. And the, the clone tool is just great for fixing your overall image. Um, this mostly applies to artwork. If you're editing a photograph, you probably aren't going to be fixing anything up because there's not usually solid backgrounds and there's not usually like little mistakes in a photograph because it's a picture, not a drawing, but you can use um, you can use this to your advantage to fix little things here and there that you don't like about your drawing. The most the most editing I do is fixing little um, little imperfections that would kind of look bad if it was printed large and getting rid of all the little dots. Another thing another thing uh, I would definitely do is recrop this so, She's not centered very well, so I'm going to actually extend the canvas. So image, resize, canvas size. Make sure you anchor it to whatever side you want. The opposite side that you want to extend it from. So I'm just going to like estimate here, let's say 13 centimeters, and it just increased it. So I'm going to do a layer underneath this layer and make it white so that it's kind of filled in. And now I can kind of eyeball where I'd want her to be and you can also keep in mind what dimension you want so if you're going to be printing this on certain dimensions you you would make this 5 by 7, 4 by 6, 8 by 10, a 3 size, I don't know but you can also keep that in mind when you're doing this but I don't really have a particular dimension in mind because this will be uploaded to Redbubble while I've already uploaded it I'm just like showing you how to edit it I'm using this as an example and if you want, you can kind of shorten the borders by taking your select tool and selecting the part that you want to keep and go to image crop. And now she's a little bit more centered than she was before. And down here, this is a very rough edge. And if you want it to be sharper, you can use your select tool again. And just, just the very edge of it and then press delete and now it's much sharper cleaner looking and it seems a, li a little bit more ready for a for a print I'm gonna save it as a Photoshop file make sure you save as you go please I forgot to do that at the beginning and you can lose a lot of work if you don't save and don't get too crazy fixing stuff only if it's really obvious because of course if you zoom in more it's gonna look messier but I just want to make sure it looks good from a distance too. And I would fix that white thing. I'll show you an example of what I fixed before. So this is how I edited the drawing before. And as you can see, 
I kind of fixed this white thing. I made it taper off a bit more as compared to over here. So I kind of smoothed that out. You have the power to do that when you're editing your photos. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Like the biggest thing is correcting the levels because um, a lot of people say like my scanner makes things look so bad. And as long as your scanner can pick up the colors, you can manipulate those colors and you can change the contrast, the brightness, you can color correct things. So just to summarize, the main things you want to do is adjust the contrast and the level so that it looks more like your original, remove any little bits that would make the print look bad, any minor imperfections in your drawing that you want to fix before you have the final version for prints or to go on the internet, to go on your Instagram, wherever you post your art, and save it as a high quality file so that you have as good quality as you can. The PNG is usually, usually good. That's what I use mostly, but I'm sure there's other ways you can save it. So I just saved it as watercolor. I don't really know what else to call it. Press OK. And then you have your final image. And it will take a while to save as um, if your file was pretty big to start with. So I hope you found this video helpful. This is how I edit my scans. Um, it's not really that complicated, but I think it's a really good tool to know if you're a traditional artist. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.